Thank you. I want to thank uh, Iridex for the kind invitation. And um, I'll, uh, I'll present in our experience using subthreshold micropulse yellow laser photoregulation in macular edema secondary to branch retinal vein occlusion with anti-VGF resistance. So I, I want to show you this very impressive case. 43 years old, non-smoker, Caucasian male, with no history of chronic medical disorders like hypertension and diabetes. In 2012, left eye presented with decreased visual acuity of 620 with symptomatic metamorphopsia. Anterior segment was okay with fake uh, clear lens. IOP was 12, but fundus showed resolving inferotemporal branch retinal vein occlusion with significant macular edema. As you can see in the picture, OCT showed the steroid macular edema with central macular thickness of 600 microns. So at first, therapy in June 2012 was just treated with topical non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs for four months with uh, no positive results. So uh, in October 2012, we decided to do one transcinolone injection to uh, resolve the macular edema, but unfortunately, we discovered this patient was a steroid responder, and uh, we had a massive increasing of IOP. So we had to stop immediately using steroids, no, so no steroids anymore. So we had to shift to bevacizumab intravitral injections. After the first bevacizumab injection in November 2012, actually we had a very good result and complete, uh, the complete, OC, uh, complete macular edema uh, resolution, OCT reduction uh, of the central macular thickness to 156 microns one month later, and visual acuity was improved to 1020. But unfortunately, these uh, initial improvements last, lasted only for one month because uh, two months later, OCT again showed the recurrence with the central macular thickness again of 700 microns. So, so uh, another bevacizumab injection and uh, another good uh, resolution. So this uh, cycle of uh, treatment and recurrence occurred seven times uh, over a period of two years. So seven bevacizumab injections, seven times good results and recurrence again. Uh, for, for us, recurrence was defined as a 30% increase in central macular thickness after initial, after initial reduction. And uh, visual acuity during this period ranged from 620 to 1020. No rise in uh, IOP during this period. So finally, after two months following the last seventh injection, this was the situation you can see in the OCT. And central macular thickness measured 148 microns. So in this moment, we decided in April 2014, we decided to, uh, to give a trial of subthreshold micropulse yellow laser photocoagulation by Iridex Medical IQ 577 over the macula area. So the settings were these ones, so power 380 milliwatts. Of course, it was used in micropulse operating mode. Exposure time of 200 milliseconds and spot diameter of 200 microns. And we approximately uh, did seven, uh, 600 spots uh, covering all the central macular area, including the fovea. One month later, Central macular thickness, you see the OCT one month after the micropulse laser um, uh, treatment. Central macular thickness decreased to 100 microns with decreased cystic spaces. And actually, this is the end of the story because for the next 30 months, we record the visual acuity and OCT scans uh, every two, three months, and visual acuity remains stable and improved slightly until uh, the best visual acuity 1220 and was maintained like that for 30 months, almost three years. So the final, final follow of OCT scan demonstrated central macular thickness of 84 microns with maintenance of oval contour and absence of edema or cystic spaces. So the laser treatment really stopped the recurrence cycle. 
this is to summarize the story. So I just uh, repeat again, the story started in July 2012, the first OCT, and then uh, injection with good result, and then edema again, and then injection, edema, injection, edema, for seven uh, times over a two-year period. And then, I repeat, in April 2014, we performed laser on a, on a flat macula, on a flat macula, and uh, the result was stable and no macular edema recurrences anymore. So, uh, this was a very Im Im impressive case, but uh, we know that uh, subthreshold micropulse laser is designed to target the RPE while having a minimal effect on the sensory retina and choroid. So the principle is to shorten the coagulation time and save the total amount of energy, reduce invasiveness. Based on uh, this limited observation, we think that micropulse laser really can be effective in patients with macular edema secondary to branch radial vein occlusion, especially in anti-VGF refractory cases and uh, with patients that are steroid uh, responders, because of course uh, we, we know that we have other tools uh, with the dexamethasone. But when you have a steroid responder and when you have anti-VGF uh, subtotal or suboptimal response, uh, can be very useful. So we believe that it brings a new possibility for optimal management of recurrent macular edema, especially with suboptimal response to anti-VGF treatment. So we say thank you. Thank you very much.